Hey, in this video, I will talk about the artificial intelligence features given by UFT. So as of now, this works with mobile applications and web applications. Just see that how it works. So there is a feature in UFT screen. There is a AI. So click on that AI. And then let's say I wanted to click on this user account. I'm clicking on this. So whenever you click on that, immediately it is importing complete web page. So just keep that. It is importing complete web page. So it is analyzing different different controls over there. And then it shows the visible elements here and the text elements here. Right. Perfect. So now I wanted to click on this. I wanted to click on this visible element. This is uh, a, you know, a profile element. So when we click on this, this is what will happen. It is going to display this. Okay. Now I will click on this. Okay. When I click on this, nothing is happening. Right. So you can simply drag and drop on this. Right. It is generating a statement. So profile dot click. Okay. Happy. So what is the next one we wanted to do? Do you want to perform any other activity here? No, I don't want to. Okay, fine. I'm choosing a new screen. So in this screen, I wanted to click on new account. Fine. I'm clicking on choose and then selecting it. And immediately it is observing entire screen. Let me go there. So just wait, it is, it is analyzing. And what about this? It is not highlighting because we need to select it as text. Now, I wanted to click on this, right? So let us see. So drag and drop identified element into your test. That's it. So I wanted to click on this. Okay. So find text block because there is nothing. So it is going to find the text block, right? And after that, what we have to do, click on create account. So it is going to do this, right? So now I wanted to perform username, enter, password, all these things. I wanted to fill these details. So let us see how this works. Choose and show the screen. Give some time until it highlights. Highlight it. So what is the next one you wanted to perform? So here, this is the screen. Make sure you are, I know it is focused, right? Yeah. So here I wanted to enter some text. I wanted to enter text, right? So I don't want to click on this element. I wanted to, I wanted to perform some enter text enter action. So this is what I have to do, text enter, right? I wanted to perform entering text. Type what you wanted to type, specify. I wanted to type my name I'm giving. So Dharkar. I'm giving my name and what you wanted to type, no email. So take it, type. So this is going to be how cool it is, right? Sorry. This is not gmail.com. This is cool. So password. Yes, it is asking for a password. So let us see, is it going to give any set secure kind of stuff? Yes, I've given multiple, yes. And so some more, I need to scroll up, scroll down, and then register and and and, and then we have to do this, right? This is what it is going to visible. So once I give all the details, then only it is going to enable. It is going to enable, right? Yeah, so I'm giving this and then giving these details. And giving some sample password. Right, and it says one uppercase required. Okay, I'm giving caps A and so it is enabled. Fine, so I'll make sure that I will take this screen again. I'll take the screen again and then identifying elements. It is doing that stuff. So first I wanted to select this, these check boxes, right? Yeah. I'm selecting these check boxes. And next 
I'm going to click on register button. Happy. So what else you wanted to do? That's it. So let us see how this works. I'm not sure how this works, how the scrolling is going to work. Okay, let us see how this is going to do all the stuff. And before that, I'm going to fill out the details like ASDF123. Gift A. And I'll give the same password. Yep. Done. And it says that set state, set state, you need to specify state on or off, right? So if you want any help from here, you can press F1. It is going to give you what you wanted to perform here, on or off, how you wanted to give. It is going to give you set state, state is on or off, possible values, and case sensitive, they are saying case sensitive, right? Yeah. On, O caps, right? Yeah. And here also, on. O caps. Perfect. So that's it. Let us see how this is going to work. Run it. So if you wanted to run, you need to do only one activity that is this is the page, the web page, right? Add this the top level object to your repository. Add this, add the top level object to repository. So what is our top level object here? Okay, the page is going to be top level object, right? The browser is common and browser.page is going to be top level object. And then before performing anything here, make sure autil dot, autil dot set context. You have to set the context. And then specify what is the context here? Browser of page of this is the context you have to specify once you specify the context so it is going to perform all the activities and make sure you close it and then let's see uh, okay let, let let us be there in the main page here and then let's execute it and then see till, till what it executes let us see that even i'm also interested till what it gets executed so context is set oh where is it? What is it saying? Oh, it says that, oh, I'm in different page, right? The page is modified. So that's why it's not working. So, yes, I must make sure that, okay, I will specify this otherwise. I will specify only browser, only till browser, the browser is saying across all, isn't it? So otherwise I'm going to mod, I'm going to update the object because I was in that page and I'm, I'm uh, working with this. Right, yeah. Yes, it works. Is it click on that? Yes, clicks. Okay, next you should click on create account. Yes, click on that. You should enter username. Okay, and uh, email. Come on, okay, perfect. So, why is it taking this much amount of time? Let us see, are there any run settings? Did they configure before? okay and there are some more at the down and it is not scrolling what we have to do we need to scroll okay that feature is missing here so it is not going to find this element so i'll, I'll scroll this manually let's see what will happen right i scroll this manually right will it work i manually scrolled yes it will it works Perfect. Perfect. It works. Right. So we'll have to see how to scroll. Of course, those are all going to be the coding logics, but this is very, very good feature. This is very, very good feature here, right? Where it can able to find elements. Okay, nothing is required. All you have to do is get okay, there is there is no image, nothing it got recorded. So there is no object repository at all. In an object repository, there is only one element. In an object repository, there is only one element that is top level object. That's it. There is no other one. There is no other one. This is beautiful, in fact. This is beautiful, right? And why it is executing some slowness? So let us check. Any settings in run? Yes, it says that thousand milliseconds. So I'll make it fast. 
and then let us try now right let's try now okay i'm going to the home page okay i'll make sure i log out log out right log out now let's see perfect everything is good so i'm not i've not logged in no login okay perfect let's see now so whether it is going to execute with some speed or not run it let's see okay speed no so as of now it is not having uh, uh, enough speed in finding the elements and performing the actions it's taking uh, some more time for processing of elements it's taking more time for processing of elements right and, and uh, yes observe if you observe it is also working in a different way i i you know i i did something else i scrolled and it is entering text at, in a different place instead of entering here it is entering text at different place when i scroll it manually yes it requires some more tweaks but it's wonderful that's what i can say right and how to get this feature if my system is working like anything how to get this feature it's simple all you have to do is you have to install ai related stuff that you get along with that you get along with uft's software so where is that you will have that in the uft software i have many things here and uft software uft software yes in this software this ai in ai you will you will have to install this right then only you will get it in fact uft also gave one more tool called a ua cordless tool so in future we will be having this but as of now this is like a preview kind of thing this is like a preview kind of thing and it says that you know uft is running you can't run it okay these two are not a parallel things like that it is saying okay fine no issue right so i am not going to run this because it works with the uh, mobile applications so that's why i am not going to run it and before i will close this okay that gets set up so it's simple it is asking what is your class right you have to specify codeless let's say i wanted to enter text on text box so text box okay text box what is your text box name let's say that is username fine and then what you wanted to do action is type okay, what action you wanted to perform on text box you can select some actions here whether type or verify this is what it says okay and then what is the next one i wanted to enter a value something like sudhakar so type sudhakar into username text box that's what see it is going to be nlp natural language processing and it is going to find a username text box and then enter the text so once you set up a mobile device it can able to find the mobile uh, uh, uft mobile uh, screen and it can able to perform the actions um there is one more let me open this test the codeless testing yep let me also open flight application that you have so what i'm saying we don't have any kind of uh, uh, facility that ai facility for desktop application right that's what i said so far but you have object spy in object spy itself you have ai auto inspection there is one more ai right so i wanted to enter text in text box okay yes you can do this okay where 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 oh i'm press control and move it move it yeah now let's see so what is that so you must choose a browser or so as usual it is it is giving us the same old message okay let me use the normal thing here okay now let's see 
what it says this is agent name this is agent name right so it says that you know no objects found so as of now it said this ai is for mobile and web applications not for not for desktop applications that's what they are saying but let us see whether it works or not let us comment everything and then let's let's have a try here whether it works or not right i will add simple object repository simple okay, I'll, I'll add this object into the repository the parent object i'll add the parent object nothing much i'll add the parent object and i will comment everything so here we have something i'll comment everything okay i will comment everything control m yes that is the shortcut for comment next thing is i wanted to click on okay button so i will use a util a util and then so i will ask it to find an object a i object or a text blocks find text something like this i wanted to give something okay so let us see whether it works or not i'm not sure whether it works or not but let let me check so i'm giving input right and comma and it is username right it is it is giving username okay let me give that okay within that star and so whatever they have given whatever the pattern they have used before i'm going to use the same pattern right user name right i will use this Press star user name. So what I wanted to do here, I wanted to dot type. I wanted to dot type. So uh, I wanted to type some text over there, right? So let us do this. And here also I have to use single code. So single code is comment, right? Yeah. So type, right? I wanted to do this type, and then John, or I will type my name. Why to type a mother's name? okay let us see whether it works or not i'll set the context as wpf window and micro focus so in case if we get any error we'll get error here itself saying that no you can't set this context something like that okay let us see let us see that three two one ah we got the error saying that no you can't set this context right so you can't do it so then so how to handle desktop applications in that case of course we got the inside object so we can go by go by images right so as of now we don't have any other thing so hopefully We'll expect this kind of feature in future, right? So for now, it is not supported for AI. And let us see the help here. Is there any any other uh, uh, thing they have created here? Now AI and set context. This is only for okay web application. That okay is there anywhere mentioned over there? only for web control thing and required supported list of controls here see the uft help center that's what they've given so what are all uh, supported and it clearly mentioned that it clearly mentioned a support for mobile testing only so in in last version it is supported for only mobile and in this version 1501 in this version desktop web so it's only web support okay don't think that it is uh, desktop support no right so web support they have given right and uh, uh, in case if the application opened in remote desktop in remote desktop through any browser right you can automate that one too yes no problem at all you can you can automate that so no need to worry about it right but if it is direct Direct application, direct you know uh, uh, application setup, not through any browser, right? So in this case, it will not work. But if you open the same thing, if we, if you open this desktop through a browser, through a browser, so uh, 
like there are some uh, remote softwares, right? Because if you open it to a browser, right? So from some other place, yes, you can able to automate that one too. So that's beautiful. Let's say if you have any application that is there in a remote uh, desktop, yes, you can able to automate that. So it will execute, it will automate, which is there in the remote desktop. Yes, you can, it can do that. But direct application, this setup, if you have given direct application, no, it will not. Right. Remember that. So that's it. This is AI based in the beginning. I'm just exploring all the stuff in UFT 15.01. Right. This looks interesting. And uh, so if you don't have AI, you can happily add uh, inside object to repository and you can able to enter text over there. Yes, that is possible. Let's say I wanted to add inside object. Inside object, automatic, add it. It's taking it, could just take the inside object like this. Okay, I'm taking it like this. Perfect. So I'm not even taking entire text box. Save it. And this is going to be my, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, use, username, right? Username, okay. Username, I'm writing it. So A is not working. So I will comment it. I'll, I'll comment it and this one also I'll comment it. This is also going to get failed, right? I'll comment it and here I will take this I will take this and then let's let's see that what is going to do. It is saying that inside object dot click. We don't want to click on it. I want it to type. Yes, we have this method type, right? Yeah, I wanted to use that uh, my name, right? Let's execute. Okay, I'll run from this step. It should find that username and Sudhakar entered. Perfect. So, but for this, you need to capture image. For this, you need to capture image. But for yeah, you, you don't need to capture anything. 